डॉल्फिन वॉट एवर यू इमेजिन वेन एवर यू हियर दिस टर्म आई इमेजिन चौपी इमेजेस ऑफ द डॉल्फिन एंड दिस मेक्स अ वेरी क्यूरियस केस टू स्टडी दैट वॉट आर द नंबर ऑफ डॉल्फिन इन इंडिया हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द इन यू सीरीज ऑफ दृष्टि आई एस आई एम ऋतु एंड टूडे सेशन इज अबाउट वॉट आर द एस्टिमेट्स ऑफ द डॉल्फिन एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट एस्टिमेट अबाउट द गैंगेटिक डॉल्फिन सो मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन पार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द न्यूज देन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टोटल पॉपुलेशन एंड इट्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन देन वॉट आर द मेथोडोलॉजी इम्प्लायड वाइल स्टडिंग द डॉल्फिन और वाइल काउंटिंग डॉल्फिन एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट थ्रेट्स एंड कंजर्वेशन देन वॉट आर द गवर्नमेंट इनिशिएटिव एंड देन प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन फॉर प्रम्स बिफोर दैट यू हैव टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस टी आई इज चैनल मूविंग टूवर्ड्स टू द न्यूज पार्ट so the news is that the first official estimate of gangetic dolphin has come and the estimate has recorded 6327 dolphins in the ganga and its tributaries and this survey marks a significant step towards understanding dolphin distribution and conservation efforts so there are many challenges while we are conducting survey so we are going to highlight on all those challenges so here we are going to talk about the total population and distribution so overall count according to a press release by environment ministry of on march 3 2025 the estimated count is 6324 ganges river dolphins three indus river dolphins are closely related to species found in india's river bias so here there is an estimate 6324 now we are going to discuss about the regional distribution so here we can see ganga main main stem 3275 dolphins ganga tributaries 2414 dolphins brahmaputra main stem 584 dolphins brahmaputra tributaries 412 dolphins river bias 101 dolphins the highest number of dolphins were recorded in uttar pradesh followed by bihar west bengal and assam this is very much important question because many people will be confused towards uh, uttar pradesh and bihar but the highest has been registered in uttar pradesh followed by the bihar west bengal and assam so it is the what you can say most of the states are eastern state of the country so survey methodology and challenges so what are the survey techniques they have employed so dolphin estimation survey was conducted between 2021 and 2025 covering a cumulative distance of 8507 km unlike tiger or elephant survey tracking river dolphins present a unique challenges so here what are the challenges because we have a different technology to study and to survey the tiger and elephants and other animals also but for dolphins because they are the water uh, what you can say organism living organism so it is very important and it is very difficult to trace their whereabouts so here we have few challenges so unlike tigers identified by strips or elephants identified or distinguished by ear patterns dolphins lack unique physical markers and making individual identification difficult because there are many other organisms which are surviving in the water so the dolphin lacks physical marker might be it has physical marker but till now we had not discovered it so it lacks physical markers so that's why it is very difficult for them that which who and which uh, organism is called as dolphin and how to categorize them it's very difficult so now we are going to discuss that use of advanced technology so because of these challenges there has been implementation of the advanced technology so so to overcome these challenges researchers used acoustic hydrophones underwater microphones to detect dolphin sounds triangulation methods ensuring that the same dolphin was not counted twice boats moving at a constant speed with two different set of observers to cross verify dolphin presence so these are the advanced technology that they had used acoustic hydrophones they had also used triangulation methods ensuring that same 
डॉल्फिन वॉज नॉट काउंटेड ट्वाइस एंड ऑल्सो बोट मूविंग एट अ कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड so here are the few advanced technology which has been used to count the dolphins so that there will be no repetition and there will be only dolphins which will be counted so coming to the discussion part that what are the major threats we have so entanglement in fishing nets so as you already know that there are a uh, fishing and we have this down trodden of uh, fishing kind of things we use nets so net is a biggest problem for dolphins and that creates hurdle in the smooth survival of the dolphin so this is one of the threats then as you already know that marine marine pollution is a biggest threat to the organisms which are surviving in the water so this is also one of the thing that uh, we have this marine industrial domestic pollution impacts the dolphin habitats because water becomes very much muddy clay also polluted and habitat degradation so because of the construction of various dams and other human made project there are reduced river flow that affects the dolphin population so these are the things which affects the dolphin survival and if we'll see that these causes are not natural these are the human made causes so we can cure these kind of the causes and we can mend these kind of the causes so coming to the discussion of the future conservation plans so upcoming surveys the next gangetic dolphin survey is expected in 4 years to analyze population trends and more research and training for surveyors will be implemented to improve dolphin tracking techniques because this time also we use triangulation we use hydrophones so we need such kind of more uh, what you can say training more technologies and so that with the help of training good training and technology we are able to identify and we can make our work easy so coming to the government initiatives so here official dolphin report was released by prime minister narendra modi during a national board for wildlife meeting in gujarat and pm modi emphasized on the role of local communities while conservation of the dolphins especially a few state had also run their plans in bihar there was a dolphin uh, research centers so they are making things uh, so that we can protect dolphins and dolphin centers have become a tourist destination so we need to promote such kind of things and we need to make aware uh, people about that we have to conserve such kind of organisms and he suggested that school children be encouraged to visit dolphin habitats to raise awareness about the conservation and the gangetic dolphin survey is a major milestone in the india's wildlife conservation efforts while challenges remain and this study or uh, provides valuable baseline data that will help shape future policies to protect river dolphins and their ecosystem so as i have already told you that bihar has this dolphin research centers so other states are also encouraged to uh, what you can say open and to establish such research centers there must be tourist destination there must be awareness the what you can say textbook contains the text about the dolphins so that we can be very much familiar with this particular organism now we are going to discuss about the practice question for prelims consider the following statement regarding the first ever estimate of gangetic dolphins in india the survey used acoustic hydrophones to detect dolphin sounds bihar recorded the highest number of gangetic dolphins so we already had discussed both the points so it would be very easy for you to point out the answer which of these statements given above is are correct one only two only both one and two neither one nor two so you can answer into the comment section and i hope you like this session if you have any queries related to this session kindly ask into the comment section also what is the conclusion of this whole discussion so the conclusion of this whole discussion is that the first estimate over dolphin we have got and it gives us and it inspire us to conduct such kind of survey again and again and it has given us a baseline to prepare our policies related to the dolphins and to spread awareness among the masses regarding dolphin conservation thank you have a nice day for more informative content like share and subscribe 
and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.